What's going on guys? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. Today, I want to talk about recognizing that you are already success itself. That you are already everything. You, you are everything. You are You have everything you need. You simply ha you have everything you need. You don't. It's it's simply becoming self. It's self recognizing that you are already that. And the more you self recognize that, or, or the more you recognize that you are already success itself and already having the necessary things in life. That's the most abundant way of. That's the. That's the. The greatest gift ever. You don't earn. You. I hear these things. Something like, you can. In order to obtain freedom in life, you gotta earn it. You gotta suffer. You gotta grind. You gotta. All these things, guys. This separation mentality. Or it's like, in order for a business to thrive, whatever, it takes ten grueling years of hard work, suffering, grinding, all this shit. I don't believe that shit, man. It's a, uh, because when I share these messages on here, guys, I'm talking about stuff like when it comes to, um, I share things like states of consciousness, states of consciousness that already exist eternally here and now. There's no working towards anything through this grinding mentality. I don't understand, I just... I don't see why this is like this glorified thing, this grind mentality where you gotta beat yourself to the ground kind of thing. And uh, man, I'm not saying it's wrong, but why make it hard on yourself? When it's like, uh, even I hear some people talk about when it comes to manifesting, it's just uh, this grind mentality. And uh, I'm not, I don't resonate with grinding guys. Maybe you've seen me run my videos and all that, but that's, I talked in my other video. I'm not going against, it's not like I'm grinding, I'm simply conforming and surrendering to the laws of physics. Um, I'm simply conforming to them, guys, through my observation. Your state of observation determines your physical experiences. Even your physical movements are time. um, your objective movements through time and space. They're all projections of your state of observation. So when you when I'm sharing messages like this, it just makes things like grind like grinding hard for 10 years or whatever obsolete. It's uh or just like just these really limited ways of thinking. Again, I'm not saying they're wrong, but it's like, why why make stuff harder on yourself when, especially when I'm sharing messages like this, trying to help people, uh, attempting to help people, uh, get into a new paradigm, a different way of uh, framing life. It's, um, I find it liberating, guys. Very comforting to be still and know that you are that. That you are what you already desire to be. What you desire, guys, is already exists. It already, it's already here for you, waiting for you here and right now. It's just you tune into that state. You frequently occupy the state. As that, I'm not. I don't. I don't like to say stuff like it takes time for something to manifest. Time is relative, guys. Time is relative to your observation. Time is. It's a human construct. It, it's the. It's how often you frequently occupy the state. You can claim things in the being right away, guys, and it'll come to pass. Instant alchemy. You don't have to do this grind mentality. And I, I, I just, you know, I, I just don't get, I just don't see why it's this glorified, this grind mentality is such a glorified thing. I'm a simple guy. And I like to look at life simply I don't like to, I, I like to make my messages gentle, this uh, gentle approach to life, not this grind mentality because there's, I've heard, you know, I've heard some people say, well, or just like hearing things like, um, 
Got to overcome your fears by facing the dark side kind of stuff. Got to embrace the dark side, embrace the suffering, all that stuff. Maybe there, there's different forms of suffering. What I, it's almost like I think when people equate suffering, it's almost like just kind of this physical suffering. Or when I think of stuff like you got to take action in order for something to uh, go your way. And action, guys, does not mean does not always mean again move your physical actions, because all your physical actions through time and space are determined by your frame of mind. Your frame of mind is the primary action itself. The, the way you talk to yourself, the way you observe your thoughts, that's the action itself, guys. Observing your thoughts is action. Your physical actions are automatic. They're secondary based on your self of state of observation, your self-image, your frame of mind, your consistent frame of mind. What you put your attention on is what reveals itself. I'm trying to make this as most, this message as frank, simple, and practical as possible. Not everyone resonates with things like these hardcore athletes or whatever, or um, these top achievers kind of things. And you hear these things like, well, they got there because they grinded so freaking hard. That's not the only, that doesn't have to be the only way, guys. You can claim things in the being right away. Maybe if someone's in a situation where it's like they, they had nowhere to go and all they had to do was just had to decree things, decree something in the being. And then, you can decree something to being, guys. It's putting your attention onto something that you desire, that already exists right here and now. Don't, don't make, don't overcomplicate things if you don't have to. Now, I do understand, like in situations where people maybe have grown up in a situation where, um, you know, childhood trauma, whatever. Yeah, those scenes. Yeah, those scenes are. Um, I'm, it's unfortunate for those people. I get it. But it, I share these messages especially for those people who are in suffering situations. Where they don't have to suffer. They think they have to... Where they don't think they have to suffer. Just to get to this... This illusory... Um, freedom thing. Because you are freedom. It's just becoming self... -rec it's self-recognizing your freedom. That's already here right now. There is no time outside of yourself. There's nothing outside of yourself, guys. Everything, you, the world is yours. You inherit this world. This is your world. And you can claim anything to be in. Things that have seemed to not appear to your view, it's only because you're not tuned into it. And your state of observation, your state of focus, is what reveals the, um, the hidden state. Uh, the hidden view of uh, the state from your view. I'm, and again, things like I'm not excluding physical actions, guys. Maybe there's some, maybe if it's some, when it comes to state of observation, yeah, physical actions are, yeah, you can, physical actions are, um, we use physical actions. So something like when you focus on something and then, or if you think of someone, they call you, or if you meet them at a different, like a building or whatever. Out of the blue kind of thing. Maybe unconsciously you've been moving through time and space with your physical actions. Not having to force the physical, not having to force the outcomes. But simply conform to the, the principles of uh, physics. Through observation. I also heard someone also tell me that life is like Tai Chi. You don't go against the laws of physics. You simply conform and surrender to them, moment by moment. And when you can conform to them in your favor, by invest, by um, conforming to them from a completely different frame of mind, because there are infinitely state, there are one of you can choose one of infinitely many frames of mind, guys. And your frame of mind determines all your objective experiences, including your physical actions through time and space.
Everything's automatic based on your frame of mind. That's the key, guys. The key is this. Observe your thoughts. Observe your thoughts. Frequently observe your thoughts. Observe or just live from the state. Listen to listen to the familiar voices, the familiar distinct voices telling you that you are success, that you are becoming successful. These things like that. You don't force things into being, guys. You simply conform to them. You simply conform to them. And like I said, I, I like to listen to people's distinct voices telling me that I'm becoming successful, that I am success. I am success. Now, yeah, you can work in steps like I'm becoming successful just to kind of help your uh, logical mind to comprehend it easily, more easily. But yeah, just realize that you are already success itself, guys. That's all it is. It's becoming, we're just becoming increasingly aware of what's all, what we already are. That's it. How liberating is that? So I just leave it at this, guys. Put your attention, what you put your, what you focus on, what you observe often, that's what reveals itself relative to you. And you're not going against anyone else's free will. Because everything outside of you relatively mirrors your state of observation, your frame of mind. That's it, guys. So I hope this video helps. I bless you all and happy manifesting.